Good morning, guys. Good morning. And I am so glad that you are here with me on today where I am so excited because God revealed some really, really neat things about what's happened to some of you. He wanted me to reach out to let you know that they are going to welcome you with open arms. See, you are so valuable. You are so loved. You're so lovable. You're so appreciated. And you are a priority in the mind of God. I say all the time that when you get this vision and you get these big ideas, that it's literally God daydreaming through your mind. And God wanted me to reach out today to encourage you, but also to tap you on your shoulder and remind you that the season that you have entered into, not will enter, but that you have entered into, that uncertain season, that season where you just don't understand what's going on in your life. You're, you're a little bit nervous about it. God is saying, just take a breath and relax because I want you to understand that they're going to welcome you with open arms. They're going to welcome you with open arms. They're going to say, where have you been my entire life? It doesn't matter if it is a relationship, if it is a new job, if it's a new group of friends, even if it's family that you didn't even understand that you had, maybe you met them online or through research. I want you to understand that you have entered into a season of open arms. See, before you really began to sit still enough, come on somebody, for God to begin to pull away the false image, the false ideologies, the false thoughts and identity. The reason that you were able to just be quiet, not tell everybody what God is doing for you, but really sit with that. God is saying to you through me that you are being welcomed with open arms. See, that last relationship that literally almost took you out of here, emotionally, psychologically, physically even. God is saying that it was necessary to get that last piece of debris off of the person that was beneath that whole situation. It was necessary to disrupt that flow to reintroduce the heavenly flow into your environment. I want you to know that you have entered into a space where that man or that woman is going to say, my God, I've prayed for you. I've thought about you. I felt you talking to me and you're welcome with open arms. I want you to understand that some of you are too big for the environment where you're dwelling at when it comes to your job. They didn't value you. They didn't appreciate you. You were there early. You stayed late, late and they still looked over you. They know that you deserve the promotion, but they gave it to a friend. They gave it to somebody that they knew. They gave it to somebody that sent somebody and they looked over you. Maybe they even gave it to somebody because of your race, your ethnicity your gender. I want you to understand that it's a company out there. When they get a hold of your resume, they're going to call you and give you an offer that seems too good to be true, baby. I want you to understand that the Lord is saying today that that job is going to recognize you. They're going to elevate you and everything that that other company ignored about you, they're going to take notice about you. I want you to understand that it is a financial shift coming into your life that's going to change the trajectory of your whole bloodline. I want you to understand this one thing, that they're going to welcome you with open arms. See, many of us as chosen ones, we travel alone and we often wonder if they're like people. You know, they're like people in this environment. But in your natural environment that you're sitting at, God is sending a group of like-minded individuals who are into the same level of spirituality. Something that's not superficial and make you feel good where you can't remember what you, what you heard before you left. But God is sending someone, a group into your environment, a tribe that consists of all nationalities that consists of young and old, wise and learners, that consists of people 
that are going to welcome you with open arms, a group of people that can see the potential in you and the power in you and not get afraid, not get jealous, not be envious, but encourage you and support you. I want you to understand that you have entered into a place of open arms. I want you to just feel the release of God right now in your environment. I want you to understand that you can let every bit of anxiety, doubt, and fear go. I want you to know that you can embrace the unseen things because the unseen things that you are attached to are dripped in the blood of Jesus Christ with that heavenly radiance and flow. I want you to go ahead and just open up your mind, your heart, and your spirit right now and receive the open arms that are being extended from heaven that are reaching out below you. You've been hurt, baby. You've been let down. You've been taken for granted and you've been abused, but that is okay. God is saying it is nothing that has happened beneath him that he hasn't seen re regarding you. That you have entered into a still place that often scares people. But you understand that you need a breakthrough. And just like the woman with the issue of blood, who people probably looked down on, who felt that she wasn't even worthy to touch the hem of Jesus. She took a risk on her life. Because she understand if I could just touch that hem of his garment, I could be made whole. God is saying that the hand of God is extended. The cloak of Jesus is at your, your focal point in your mind. God is saying, go ahead on and just reach out and touch my hand. Go ahead on and reach out and touch the garment of Jesus. God is saying that open arms right now from heaven are making you whole. And I'm persuaded and I'm convinced because the unseen part of heaven is all around you, working everything out for you. Because I tell you, I tell you, I tell you divinely the truth that you have entered into the season of God's open arms. And until the next video, guys, peace. I love you sincerely and I believe in you. Bye now.